Quartet. <clears throat> and I dedicate this to my grandmother. The front door led almost directly to the kitchen. I made your favorite, she said as I opened the fridge. Lemon meringue, the pie of old ladies and summer. I have no hunger, only desire, and cut a thin, won't break my diet slice, so perhaps when I'm finished, I can have two, and they will only equal one, and still smaller than a Marie Callender slice. <laughs> Fork to mouth. I could still see my toes then. She smiles, and she taps my belly, pats my fat, and asks, do you really think you should eat that? <laughs> Hmm. Mixed messages. Two. My endocrinologist has written a book, has heard it all before, has all my excuses memorized. He tells me we need to be more aggressive with my thyroid. I imagine us sending twig blondes with pitchforks telling my thyroid to wake the fuck up. My body is, after all, a battleground. Twig blondes handing out sorority rush flyers. There's a party later, and one of them hands me a flyer, and the other one rips it out of my hand. This is going to take discipline, he says, with a stern, but really uninterested look. <laughs> Flogging through the motions, I order his book, and I vow to live on air. <laughs> My neighborhood comes with a private link, an accidental privilege. I don't know how to deal. It's artificial, this lake, full of pristine, serene, trucked in sandbanks, condos where the willows should be, and stagnant microbes, and swimmers' itches and job-free yoga pant women pushing thousand-dollar strollers whose children go to the best schools whose husbands fantasize when their head jobs were free. Four. The ocean is an idea, a weightlessness, an albatross, and I tell them I am here for the ocean, though I haven't seen it in weeks. The ocean is a possibility, still free of charge, still waiting, never still at all, rocking, ebb, body flow. The ocean is a memory with all compartmentalized parts of me floating separately, together, tangled weeds, mermaid dreams. You are not the fat girl. You are not too big for the vast expanse. This universe of water weighing you down while holding you up. You go in bloody and beaten, and you come out in salt water time. Heals all the big wounds. You are not the biggest thing in the ocean, and the big are fast here. Just ask the elephant seal and the orca. Ask the woman who dives in again and again, free until she re reaches the shore. <laughs> 